created the film to have it being seen on the, on the silver screen and people can go see it. That's the, that's the biggest problem. It's not finding stories. There's plenty of stories. It's not the ability to tell stories. Which that, that exists in, in, in bountiful <laughs> proportions here in the, in the Latino community. It's, it's getting through that process to, to, uh, to, to get it on. And, 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 uh, but it's always, always dependent on a story, a good story. A good story, you can project it on a bed sheet and people will get it. It has to be a good story. So the movie uh, Born in Isole is written by you. Yeah. So it's the problem about the immigrants in nowadays. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the meaning of the in the Chicano culture? What do you think about it? Well, in relation to what? And uh, what is the meaning of this movie in the Chicano culture? Um, <laughs> well, it involves everybody in the Chicano community mm -hmm. because at some time or another, somebody crossed the border to come over here. Uh, well, first there was Americans crossing the border to get Mexico and claim that territory, you know. So uh, uh, that process is ongoing. But, uh, uh, you know, <coughs> immigration serves all the countries that, that are involved in the process, not the United States that is that people are coming to, but everybody that, that uh, gets their education here and goes back to the, whatever country they're from. Or, they come up with uh, 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 inventions that will help this country or, or the, the worldwide culture. You know. it's, uh, it's the opportunity. It's getting opportunity. Many countries, there's not opportunity for you to advance or you to come up with a good idea and have, have it be prosperous or, or successful. Uh, in this country, that's possible. In other countries, it's not. So we always have to protect that, always. And so we're involved in that process right now. You know, there's a fear that we're going to get taken over. The country's going to get taken over by Mexico. That happened a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to happen. It's already happened. Uh, so, you know, but use that to everybody's advantage. You know? So what's the, uh, your next project? Uh, we're going to do a, uh, another Chichi Chong movie. I think in a couple of months we're going to start. So we'll see where that ends up. <laughs> but we're just, uh, it's, uh, it, it's a great opportunity to, to have reached four generations. We've linked four generations uh, between Tommy and I and the, and the projects we have done, not only from Chi Chong, but everything we've done individually. Uh, that's a hard thing to do. You don't, you don't have a lot of people who have an audience that is comprised of four generations. So I'm really proud of that. So yeah. I think we'll just keep on going till there's no more generations of us. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have some advice, some tip for Latino actors? Uh, keep acting. <laughs> you know, it's like 